If you have been to the Thurston County Courthouse lately, you may have seen what is happening here today. Cars circling a full parking lot, people lined up to enter the courts, confusion about the multiple entrances, and buildings showing their age. Let's take a closer look at some of the issues experienced at the courthouse. When citizens visit the Thurston County Courthouse, either to serve on a jury, use county services, or meet with a county official, they expect their visit to be safe, easy, and quick. That's not always the case with our current courthouse. Our courthouse is made up of several buildings constructed more than 40 years ago and was expected to last 25 to 30 years. Today, the buildings are showing extensive wear and tear. Building a new courthouse and regional administrative building would address four issues, poor access to services, safety and security risks, worn and substandard buildings, and costly repairs and maintenance. Visiting our current courthouse is challenging for residents. Thousands of people come each month to serve on juries, go to court, check on their property taxes, renew their license tabs, register to vote, apply for a passport, get a marriage license, and apply for a building permit. Most people arrive by car, and if you have visited the courthouse lately, you know that parking at the courthouse is limited, and parking spaces are often full throughout the day. The limited bus service to the courthouse earned the location a transit score of 40 out of a possible 100, making it even more difficult for citizens to get to the current courthouse. One of our greatest concerns is the safety and security of the citizens and staff who work at the courthouse. Because this hallway is utilized by so many groups who cannot have interaction, it's very important that those of us who use the hallway take a look right left before they go into the hallway. We don't know when an in custody defendant with corrections is going to be utilizing this hallway. There's no warning system. Um, and there isn't a feasible warning system. And so the bailiffs need to be very careful to not be in the hallway with jurors at the time that corrections is coming with an in-custody defendant. Having worked in this courtroom or courthouse for 26 years, I've seen a lot of things happen. We have a lobby that is the same main transit point for all three courtrooms in this courthouse. And out there you'll have defendants speaking supposedly confidentially with their attorneys in a very public space. You'll have prosecutors walking through, people who shouldn't hear those conversations. You potentially will have the judge walking through. On a jury day, you're gonna have jurors walk through there and they may run into uh, folks who are parties on either side of a case. Uh, and you can also have people being brought there in custody. Studies by experts describe the current courthouse building as beyond their useful life. There are leaky roofs, outdated wiring, failing plumbing and sewer lines, creaky elevators, and heating and cooling systems that are inefficient and cannot be repaired. The buildings also don't meet current earthquake safety codes. The cost just to repair and refurbish the current building is estimated to be more than $50 million. And that $50 million would not solve safety problems, wouldn't add space, and wouldn't increase parking. The county has been working on how to solve the current problems with these courthouse buildings, and this work has led to the commissioners putting a ballot measure before the citizens on April 28, 2020. The ballot measure lets the citizens decide whether to increase property taxes to finance the replacement of the current courthouse with a new courthouse and regional administrative building that will increase access and safety and provide efficient quality space for county services. If approved, the measure will authorize an increase in property taxes by no more than 47 cents per $1,000 of assessed value. That's about $12 per month for a home valued at $300,000. The increase will end in 25 years. The new courthouse will cost around $250 million and is expected to be complete in three to five years and serve Thurston County for the next 75 to 100 years. Thurston County citizens will decide through a vote on April 28, 2020. Learn more online at www.thurstoncountywa.gov.